Hey Dutch here. Hey, I'm gonna make a video on my beehives. Uh, I came out here last about four days ago and uh, opened them up just a quick check. And uh, one of them had a bunch of wax moths in them, so I'm gonna film me di digging into it, and then we'll check the other ones. Thanks for watching. You can see the little moss right there. There's some larva. This one's actually my uncle's hive. And uh, I haven't even told him this yet. I want to bust open into it. There's still a bee in there, but it's probably just you can see what they're what they've done to it. You can see all the all the little larvae of the moss. It's pretty bad. This hive never was very strong from the very beginning. We really didn't know why. We're learning as we go, but. I checked these about three weeks ago and then came back about four days ago. Three weeks ago they were still weak, but they didn't have any moss or anything in them. They, and I came back four days ago and it's, they just completely taken over. Wiped out this hive and you can just see. There's a bee. This size is a total loss. We'll check my, I have another hive that's that's weak. I have two real strong hives and I got another one that's weak. I'm gonna go ahead and bust into it and I'll show you guys.
take one of these frames out but uh, just looking at it right now uh, it don't look too bad they just never started building up so there it's a weak colony but we're just gonna check see if there's any moss in there Just uncap some of their honey, so I'm not going to jack it in that there. Uh, they, they still uh, produce and brood, so that's good. I don't see any signs of any moths at all, or any beetles or anything. I'm gonna go ahead and put put this up. They were building pretty good at first, so I put a, they were about 80% full, so I put a second brood box on there, but they never built up, so I'm going to go ahead and just leave it how it is for now, and put this back on, the lid, you know, I'll bring some feed out here later on, I'll, I'll put the feed to them. Big Bear Homestead suggested I, I close off their uh, entrance, so I did that, and uh, I'm going to put, he, he also said put some feed on them, so I'm going to do that too. All right, I'm going to fix that uh, interest excluder, and uh, I'll be back in a second. You can see they just, there's one right there. Let's see if I can like, get my chickens over here. Let's see if they'll eat this wax moth. Boom. So you take care of wax moth right there, boys. Hey, I come out here to take care of these frames that the moths got. 
and all these bees have already found them. We'll walk over that one honey frame. Yeah, I left this out so the bees would clean it up, and they're doing that for sure. I'm gonna have to move this. I'm gonna have to move this stuff away from the house. Look, that wasp is even trying to get in on action. Hey guys, that was just a video on uh, our attack of the of the uh, wax moths. Uh, you can see on these frames the damage that they've done. They completely destroy the hive. So I'm gonna have to figure out: Do I burn these, or is there a way I could save them? I think I read somewhere where you could put them in the, clean them all off, put them in the oven at 400 degrees for so long, and then freeze them. Maybe save them that way. Uh, we only have four hives, so to lose one is devastating. Um, it's just it's just a bad deal. Uh, lesson learned. I'll have to start checking these every week instead of every two weeks, every 14 days. Because uh, I checked them two, two and a half weeks ago and they were good. Nothing, I didn't see any problems with them. They were, they were struggling. And, uh, but as far as wax, wax moth, I didn't, we didn't have any signs of them. And then we come back two weeks later and the whole hive's gone. And uh, you can see the frames. You can see, you can see what they did to them. They did, there's a moth right there. Let's see if I can get a close up. You can actually see the, I don't know if I see it on camera, the moth, see it? It just flew off that, but it completely destroys everything. There's a larva right there, but I'm going to, the bees are starting to take over and uh, I got this way from the, I got this way from the house. My kids don't get stung and uh, but I appreciate you guys watching my videos. And if you, if you have any suggestions, uh, please comment down below. Uh, this is our first time beekeeping and we need any advice uh, possible. Uh, pre thanks for watching the video and if you guys liked it the like button if you would uh, please subscribe to my channel and uh, please if you have any advice uh, just, let, just uh, put down the comment section I uh, will give uh, Big Bear Homestead a shout out uh, he, he helped me he gave me a little advice on, uh, on my other hive that was struggling to put a uh, interest uh, reducer on there and I did that and I put some feet on there um, I checked them they're, they're doing okay but they're just struggling they're not near as strong as my other hives and uh, it's a good thing I found these uh, wax moss and this other one before it hit my other uh, weak hive. Mm -hmm. So hopefully I'll keep an eye on that. I'll check it in about five or six days, maybe four days, I don't know. And uh, see how they're doing. Make sure there's no uh, signs of uh, wax moss. It's my rooster. Appreciate you guys watching. Thank you.